angles can be measured in both degrees and radians. Let's see some standard angles. Here is the unit circle. And if we start here and travel around the unit circle counterclockwise, the distance we travel is also the angle we form measured in radians. What's an entire circle? What if we go all the way around? There are 360 degrees in a circle. So what's that in radians? Well, the circumference of the unit circle is 2 pi. So a full circle means traveling 2 pi units. And the distance we travel is also the angle. So 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. What about 180 degrees? What about this angle? Well, this angle is formed by traveling from here all the way to here. In other words, by traveling halfway around the circle. Halfway around the circle is half the circumference. So 180 degrees is pi radians. 90 degrees a right angle. Well, 90 is half of 180. So half of pi radians is pi over 2 radians. And there are a few other standard angles that you should know. So 90 degrees and then 180, 270, those are just multiples of 90 degrees. 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. We'll see in various applications later down the line. So you should know that those are pi over six radians, pi over four radians, and pi over three radians. And you probably should just commit this chart to memory. Like every time you see a pi over four radians, you shouldn't need to use a conversion form to, the, to know that's 45 degrees. That should just be something you would know. Now, having mentioned a conversion form to the, there is one. It doesn't look like it's in this set of notes, though, so I'll end this video here.